Hello friends, today I will discuss helium neon laser working. Pumping electrical. Helium neon is a four level laser system. So this is a construction diagram of helium neon laser that is I have already discussed in my earlier video lecture. So first of all, with the help of pumping source, pumping of helium atoms occur where electric discharge is passed through the gas mixture of helium and neon that is in the ratio of 10 is to 1 electrons are accelerated down the discharge tube in which the mixture of helium neon is placed so electrons are excited in this discharge tube here in the energy level diagram it is shown excitation of the helium atoms with the help of pumping source that is discharge electrodes these accelerated electrons collide with the helium atoms and excite them to the higher energy levels let us say f2 and f3 whenever with the help of pumping source that is electric discharge in this case that means fast moving electrons collide with the helium atoms in the ground state the electrons will shift their energy to the helium atom after collision and due to this gain of energy helium will be excited to the F2 and F3 Achievement of population inversion of neon atoms Some of the excited states of neon atoms correspond approximately to the same energy of the excited levels F2 and F3 of helium. Here you can see corresponding to the F2 level there is E4 state corresponding to the F3 there is E6 state of neon. This is one of the reasons that mixture of helium and neon is taken thus when helium atoms in levels f2 and f3 collide with the neon atoms in the ground state e1 that is helium atoms are in the excited state f2 and f3 they have energy corresponding to f2 and f3 but neon atoms they are in the ground state E1 then energy exchange takes place and this results in the excitation of neon atoms to the levels E4 and E6 and de-excitation of the helium atoms to the ground level F1 let us understand it again suppose F2 is 3 electron volt and F1 is 1 electron volt so 3 minus 1 there is a difference of 2 electron volt energy in between F2 and F1 so whenever this 2 electron volt energy helium atom collide with the neon atom which is in the state E1 so it will transfer they will transfer their two electron volt energy to the neon atom so neon atom will be excited to the e4 that will be approximately equal to suppose two electron volt i am just taking the example of this three and one these are not real values okay the, the real values are approximately 20 electron volts 21 electron volts so 2 electron volt energy is transferred to the neon atom and after transferring this energy helium will come back to the ground state and during this process neon will be excited to the E4 level. Similarly F3 minus F1 excitation energy is transferred to the neon atom. So neon from E1 it will be transferred to the E6 it will have energy E6 that why that is why here it is mentioned that de excitation of the helium atoms to the ground level F1 and excitation 
of neon atoms to the E4 and E6 level. Therefore, the electric discharge through the gas mixture continuously populates the neon excited levels E4 and E6. This helps to create a state of population inversion. Population inversion, I have already discussed in my earlier lectures, between the levels E4 and E6 because in this case E4 and E6 and F2 and F3, these are metastable states. These are metastable states, that is half stable states, that is having lifetime of approximately 10 to minus 5 to 10 to minus 3. I have already discussed it. So, uh, and low energy levels E5 and E3. So, population inversion achieved between the levels E4 or E6 and low energy levels E5 and E3. Therefore, the purpose of helium atoms is to help in achieving a population inversion in neon atoms. Otherwise, we will get laser due to neon atoms. So, neon are the active centers in the helium neon laser system. And uh, I hope you have understood the purpose of the helium atoms and how neon atoms got excited to the E4 and E6 levels. Achievement of laser. Following three transitions will occur. First one, it may be from E6 to E5 with laser wavelength of 3.39 micrometer or 33,900 angstrom. E6 to E3 transition having wavelength of 6328 angstrom. E4 to E3 with laser wavelength of 1.15 micrometer or 11,500 angstroms. Mirrors of the optical resonators are so designed to show low reflectivity for wavelengths 3.39 micrometer and 1.15 micrometer. Again, optical resonator system I have already discussed in my earlier video lectures. That is a system of two mirrors, one having reflectivity 100%, another having reflectivity almost 100%. So the population of 3.39 micrometer wavelength and 1.15 micrometer wavelength photons, they are they are quite less comparative to 6328 angstroms. So uh, they may create problems. Therefore, the mirrors are so designed that they will not properly reflect 3.39 and 1.15 micrometer wavelength photons. They will properly reflect 6328 angstrom. If they will not properly reflect 3.39 and 1.15 micrometer, they will not help to achieve the further photons to achieve laser. So to achieve lasers, only 6328 angstrom wavelength is, uh, is useful. Thus photons of these wavelengths will be laminated. Therefore the photons of wavelength 6328 angstroms will move back and forth in optical resonator system and thus laser of wavelength 6328 angstroms emerges through the partially reflected mirror here you can see the same okay here 6328 angstrom wavelength is passed when the population is sufficient when the population is sufficient Output. The output wavelength is 6328 angstrom. The helium neon laser output is continuous and it lies between 1 milliwatts and 50 milliwatt for input of about 5 to 10 watts. But the major advantage is that the output is continuous. Why the output is continuous here? Because I have already discussed that helium de excited from F2 to F1 or F3 to F1 when it will transfer its energy to the neon and you are excited to E1 to E4 or E1 to E6. So when neon excited after the whole process, the meanwhile helium will be excited. So again helium atoms will be ready to excite the 
neon atoms so the process will continue i hope you have understood the working of the helium neon laser for further reference please search our website venusscience.com please subscribe and like our channel if you want laser ebook ebook please email venusscience@gmail.com thank you thanks a lot